Hello folks, welcome to Lester's Custom Truck Shop. I have on my bench today a new radio from President. I got an email from President the other day asking me if I would like to review this radio and uh, make a video of it. Well sure, I'm always up for that so they sent one to me. And I got to tell you, it's a nice looking radio from the picture on the box. So let me get it open and let's see what it is. More to come. Okay, got the box open. But you might like to see what's in the box. This radio looks an awful lot like the Richard. Okay, sure does. We got the standard little President uh, electric microphone, power cord, mounting materials, mounting bracket, the normal stuff inside the box there. All right, let's get the radio out and uh, find out what it's all about. Okay, this is what it looks like. President Walker 2 FCC. I guess that means it's just strictly 40 channels. Okay, comes up on the CB band, has a uh, volume squelch, as well as uh, automatic squelch control, RF power, RF gain and mic gain, with the center knob being the mic gain there, okay. ANL noise blanker in the center position, high cut ANL noise blanker in the top position. It's even got a talk back button in a box where you don't have to use your hands. Okay. EMG1 is channel 9. EMG2 is 19. Okay, let's put that on 20. Okay. It only has an AM mode, but it does have weather. Uh, or is that just a weather alert? Let's see. To the west, five to ten nope, it has weather. After midnight. Sunday, mostly sunny in the morning, then partly cloudy with a 20% chance of thunderstorm. That's pretty cool. Now this guy here, I believe, is just a charge port, so you can charge your cell phone. Don't think you can actually do anything with it. The menu function is like it is on the Richard. Push and hold this in. You can change the color. I like green personally. Blue. Cyan. Yellow. Purple, even. Clear or white. And red. Key beep on or off. We'll leave that on. Let the uh, person that winds up with the radio decide if they want to keep that on or not. Tone control, dimmer. And you can change the channels for EMG1 and EMG2 uh, with the software, I believe. Or maybe I can do it by pushing that. Yes, look at there. That's all you have to do to change that. That's pretty handy. You can have it go to your favorite channel. Okay, now this is another thing that's new. See this mic TP? It stands for mic microphone type. If you don't do something with a menu, it goes away. Right now it's set for electric, and that's to match the uh, microphone that comes with it. But if you have like a D104 or Road King or something of that nature, you can change it to dynamic. Okay. That's supposed to be DY. It looks like D4, but it's supposed to be DY. It's for dynamic microphone. And that's for electric. Okay. I'm going to leave it set to electric because the stock microphone that comes with it is electric. Okay. And just hit 
one of the other buttons and you're out of the menu. High cut works pretty good. Alright, let's see what we got uh, for receive. Oh, look at that. That should be an S9 right there, 100 microvolts. Which it is. All right. Uh, hmm. I was going to say let's do some power checks, but I got 100 watt slugs in there. Let me change those out real quick and I'll be back. Okay. I got a 25 watt slug on the RMS side and a 50 watt slug on the peak side. Okay, RMS is this meter on the left. We'll be reading on that top scale. It, it's 10 for 10 watts, 5 for 5 watts, etc. This one, we've got a 50 watt slug in it, so we're going to be reading on the center scale. 10 watts, 20 watts, 30 watts, 40 watts, 50 watts. Okay, I'm on channel 20. It only has one mode, it's just AM. Hello audio, audio, hello, hello audio. About 20 watts peak. Audio. And it swings forward to about 7 watts RMS. Okay, and if you turn the RF power all the way down, we drop down to about 2.5 watts. Audio, hello audio, audio. Still got pretty good swing there too. So, this is a nice little AM radio. I love the way it looks. Might help if I actually focus the camera on the radio, but it's a really nice radio. All right, let me pull the covers off of it. Let's see what's inside. More to come. Okay, here it is on the inside. It's basically the same radio as the Richard, the President Richard, only you know, it only has one final, and that's so they can meet uh, FCC power specifications. All right, no support components for the other two. And it has the big, thick chassis, which I love that. Good job, President. I really love the fact also that it's got this built-in heat sink. Now, you probably didn't notice but the covers are vented. See those louvers punched in on each side? It's on the top and the bottom covers. These louvers are punched into them. Okay, and what that does is allow air to circulate around inside there. You know, hot air rises. So as the air heats up inside the radio, it's going to take air in from the bottom and the hot air is going to come out the top. It's really ingenious. No fan or anything, just good ventilation inside the cabinet. But look at that. All surface mount component. And for you guys that uh, drive tractor trailers, log trucks, farm equipment, you know, anything that gives it a bumpy ride, surface mount components will give you less trouble than through hole components. Now, I personally like radios with through hole components, and the reason for that is that they're easier to work on. I mean, look at some of these parts, like those right there. Oh my God, you know, I got to have a magnifying glass to even see what the hell it is. Like these little guys right here, those are capacitors. Okay, that one right there, that's a resistor. I think nat poop is bigger than these damn things. Look at that. Look at all those resistors lined up right there. 
think they're one thirty seconds watt or some crap like they're tiny little boogers you know I mean something happens to a part on this board depending on what the selling price is on these guys might be better to just throw it away and buy a new one good god but the nice thing about surface mount components they don't wiggle and because they don't wiggle you don't get broken runs you don't get runs on the bottom with cold solder joints it's a really a good design and the thing about it is they still got room you know they can make a bigger board uh, president sideband version please I love this chassis. This is a really good design, fellas. And like I said, it's basically the same radio as the President Richard. Only, you know, I mean, it's missing some parts that the Richard needs for the different bands and things. All right. I think I've gotten some good shots of the inside of it there. Yeah, we can upgrade that cap. I don't understand that now, President. I, you know, this is where the DC power comes into the radio. I know you're limited on space, but come on. A 470 microfarad capacitor to filter the DC input? That needs to be about a, at least a 2200 not even a 1,000 is big enough. Okay, and then the filtering for the voltage regulator. Another 470. Why not put a 1,000 in there? I know that you can find capacitors now that are just a little bit taller than that, but they're 1,000 at 25 volt. So... That would be one of the things I would suggest. Increase this at least to 1,000. Increase this one to 2,200. Now, of course, I can do that for my customers, but it would be nice if the radio came that way already. But look at those tiny, tiny little parts there. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, I have uh, magnifying glasses. I've got these things that I use. You have to use them to work on this kind of crap, but a lot of times, like when I'm working on stuff this small, I have to use these and a magnifier. Okay, just to be able to see this crap, especially to read the part numbers. But one thing about it is, they're so lightweight, they don't move around. Consequently, they don't crack. It just works. It's basically cell phone technology put in a CB radio. If you've ever looked at the board of a cell phone, all the stuff on that, it's just tiny, just like this. But you know, they're always trying to cram more into cell phones. And look at there. Wouldn't be that difficult, would it? All right. And there you have it, folks. The new President Walker 2 FCC. Nice, nice radio. Again, President, sideband version, please. If you make a sideband version of this one or the Richard, it will be in my vehicle. God, look at look at the heat sink. overkill on the heat sink on this on the walker but i'm sure they didn't want to change the, the chassis they just wanted to get a cb version of the uh of the president richard out because i do sell a lot of the president richards the 10 meter radios the am fm version so i'm pretty certain that the walker 2 will do quite well for president i like the way president's going okay high quality radios 
Kind of like President used to be back in the 70s. They had some of the best radios made back in the late 70s, early 80s. It looks like they're going that way again. This is really high quality. I am impressed. Good job, President. Keep them coming. We love them. Seven three, everybody. Okay, one other thing. We're still inside here. One other thing you notice is that there is no adjustments. There's no adjustments for modulation. There's no adjustments for meters. It's all electronically calibrated. No adjustments for bias. That's preset with a component. I thought that was interesting. The Richard is the same way. There's no adjustments on the Richard either. And the reason I'm comparing this one to the Richard is that I believe it's the same PC board as the Richard. Just set up for 11 meters instead of uh, 10 meters. Okay. Nice, really nice radio though. I really like it. Um, 